Hey you guys! Today we are going to draw a color wheel that's also a ferris wheel because those are very very fun. To start you'll need a white piece of paper as well as a green colored paper if you have it, if not it's not the end of the world, a pencil and a black crayon as well as a bowl so that we can have the circle for our ferris wheel and you want to make sure it's smaller than the paper that you're going to be drawing on. You'll also want the crayons that are the color of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, watercolors if you have them, scissors and glue. All right, starting with the white piece of paper and I put a black piece of paper underneath just so you can see the outline of the white paper. I'm going to trace my bowl or my plate or whatever you have and get an outline of a circle. From there, using my black crayon, I'm going to draw the middle, which is a little circle inside. And now I'm going to draw the baskets and I want six baskets. Starting at the top, I'm going to draw kind of like a boat shape, although you could change yours, whatever shape you want your Ferris wheel to be. That's fine by me. Or not your Ferris wheel, guys. Ferris wheel is round. Whatever shape you want the basket you're hanging out in. But now look, when I draw this Ferris wheel at the bottom, it's going to be below the circle where my line is. That's what I love about Ferris wheels is as you go around in them, your basket stays right side up so you never fall out. So your basket is always going to be right side up, which for me means the flat side is on top. And I'm going to go around and when I'm on the side, right, like this one here, it's kind of off to the side of my circle. So make sure you have six baskets. And I'm kind of checking to make sure they line up with across the way. I'm going to draw one more. And all my baskets are touching that circle I drew in pencil. And all my baskets are right side up. Now I'm going to trace the circle of my Ferris wheel, making sure that I go under so I'm not going to draw through my baskets. That's what's a little bit tricky about this, but I think you guys can do it. The baskets are going in front of the Ferris wheel. Now we need our spokes. This is what keeps the Ferris wheel moving and in place. And these two at the bottom, I'm going to make them longer. And that is what the Ferris wheel is standing on. Right? If it was on the floor, it would just be a wheel that rolls everywhere. And that's not what a Ferris wheel is. All right, time to color in our color wheel. I'm going to start with red at the top. And after doing a pattern where I'm pressing down really hard, with my red crayon. I'm gonna go lighter over top so you can still see the pattern. After I'm done with red, I'm going to do orange and then I'm gonna keep working my way until I do all the colors of the rainbow. So red, orange, next will be yellow, then green, blue, and purple at the top. Check and make sure that I do it correct and then check and make sure you do it correct as well. Whew, I made it. Okay, now I'm going to add a couple more details to my Ferris wheel, which is just spur of the moment. You can add whatever kind of decorations you'd like. 
Maybe you want to add people or maybe you want to draw a tree. It's up to you. But when you're ready, we're going to move on to the background, which is watercolor. I'm going to get my paintbrush and wake up my paint for the blues. And then I'm going to go over my entire paper. If you don't have watercolor, you can use markers, you can use crayons. Maybe you even want to cut out your Ferris wheel and use a blue piece of paper. It is up to you, but I would like to see a colored background. So not just a white piece of paper. However you want to do it, that's just fine with me. Sure to let it dry before you move on to the last piece, which if you have the green paper, I'm gonna add a little fringe of grass because why not? So I'm gonna cut along the top of my paper so the sides that match up with the bottom. And when I have a strip of green paper, I'm gonna cut along the top to make little tiny blades of grass going all the way down. So as thin or as thick as you want, the thinner you get them, the more it's gonna look like grass. But whatever you can do is just fine. Add some glue along that bottom part that's not been cut. Stick it on the bottom of your paper. And then my favorite part, I feel like I'm like a villain in a movie where I'm moving my hands like mwa ha 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 But really, I'm just crumpling up the paper so that it looks like grass. There you have it, your color Ferris wheel.